We've all been in that situation on the golf course where we're facing a putt where it's almost impossible to hit it high enough and it's almost impossible to leave the ball short of the hole. We're putting down a tier, sharp slope right before the hole. So what I do in that situation is pick an interim target and try and putt to that, leaving the momentum of the ball and gravity to kind of do the rest. So on this putt here, the point where the disc is, is almost at the fall line where the, the ball would just roll straight down the hill towards the hole. And then what I'm going to do is read the putt to that disc, okay? So I'm now imagining that that ball is my target or the hole. I've read it as left to right, a little bit downhill at the end. And what I'm going to try and do is get this ball to stop on the disc. If I can do that, I'm no longer focusing on the hole over there. I'm focusing on my interim target, okay? Picturing a putt, imagining that that's the hole. If I can do that, I shouldn't end up too far away from the hole. So I left it just a little short of the disc, but you can see trickling down the hill and the speed ended up pretty good. So if you can pick an interim target and find the full line on the slope, you should have more success at these putts.